Erica Rice. I'm an attorney in the business department and I am lawyer number 2192. The numbers aren't for partners, they're for, they're for lawyers. I'm Bob Birnbaum. Um, I'm lawyer 82 and I don't know where that number came from. We, we had 12 lawyers and I was number 73. Well, see, I was the 75th lawyer in the firm. My lawyer number is 89. I'm not sure where that number came from. That's what they gave The me. lawyer number, by the way, if, if no one's explained this, did actually at one point mean something. I think I was earlier than the 82nd lawyer here. They're recycling numbers. Well, the 73 is because they had a lot of lawyers in between, you know, who lasted a week or two. Why were we giving lawyer numbers? But I will tell you, and for an older, you know, I don't know what Keating's number is. I'm Michael Keating. I've been an attorney for 50 years. I am lawyer number 27. Well, Sandra Shapiro, she's like 35, and I'm like, oh, 35, maybe she's been here a long time. My name is Sandra Shapiro. I'm in the real estate practice area. My lawyer number is 32. I don't remember who's lawyer. I'm 278. I don't remember who 279 was. I used to know. No, the, the number scheme when I joined the firm, I literally still meant I was the 558th lawyer to have walked through the door at Folio A. There were many, many versions of where the lawyer numbers came from, and most of them were wrong. I was the 75th lawyer to join the firm. The uh, lawyer number is 74. I noticed the associates don't, under, don't know their numbers as well as we did. Hi, my name is Janine Ladislaw, lawyer number 2076. I forgot it. I mean, everything was 299, like, you know, you, have, you know, it was when we were on paper, so all your old... I'm David Ellis, and I'm lawyer number 13. I'm Jeff Mullen. I'm lawyer number 299. My name is Peter Rosenblum. My lawyer number is 27. I'm Barbara Fiacco. I am a life sciences patent litigator and I am attorney number 696. I'm Tom Bavalacqua, lawyer number 2363. I'm Don Ware. I'm lawyer number 58. Hi, my name is Arlene Bender. My lawyer number is 135. My name is Andrew Schwartz, lawyer number 149. My name is Melita Hudson and I'm lawyer 2110. I am Tom Block and I am number 1000. Hi, I'm Bill Kolb. I've been at the firm 30 years. I have a corporate finance practice and I'm lawyer number 179. I'm Lori Burt. I'm lawyer number 312. Nick Theodoro, 240. Janice Brennan, 827. Jim Bucking, 269. Adam Kahn, 278. I'm John Book, number 336. Jeff Collins, 558. Ken Leonetti, 574. Once more with feeling. Dana Gordon, 685. My name is Gil Ari. My lawyer number My name is, is Matt Vivalte, 864. The Kevin Conroy, 871. I'm the other Kevin Conroy, 2345. I'm Lisa Wood. I'm lawyer, 1281. 315. Deanne Smith, number 1335. 1542. 28. Claire Lala, 1629. 264. <laughs> <laughs> number 105. 225. And I'm number 1206. Josh Jarvis, lawyer 1773. Lawyer number 1924. Attorney number 1976. 2187. 2076. Lawyer number 2081. Number 2094. Lawyer number 2344. 2346. There's so many of them. are serial numbers. I'm lawyer 2351. 2386. 2690. 1690. 184. My lawyer number is 2438. How about this? The Michael Keating. Lawyer number 27. <laughs> like I was on the lineman of the Atlanta Falcons or something. Hi, I'm Nick Theodoro. I'm number... <laughs> Hello. Paul Reichler. I hold the rank of partner. My serial number is 826, and beyond that, I'm not required to give you any further information. Under the Geneva Convention. <laughs> it's all in New York here. My number is 2646. Uh, I am Daniel Schimmel. My lawyer number is 2648. I've never used it until today. I have to work here still, you know, after people see this video. <laughs> um, Erica Rice, 2192. Perfect. I think that the older people are going to enjoy some of the stories and hearing about the, the old times and everything, but I think the most important part of this is, is really um, introducing people who weren't here 
a um, long time ago to, to the, what's made this firm what it is today. Well, Henry Foley was intimidating. He was a lawyer's lawyer. He was uh, always impeccably attired, usually with a three-piece suit. Uh, Garrett Hoag was pretty serious and pretty stern, but he wasn't quite as intimidating. Thomas Elliott, I think he was related to the T.S. Elliott family, and uh, the, the fourth founder was Lou Weinstein. Well, I was hired by uh, Foley Hoag. They had 12 lawyers. When I first joined the law firm, you could have a, a whole firm get together in somebody's house. It's a small firm of 28 lawyers. We had about 35 lawyers. Maybe 50 lawyers. We're about 200, maybe 215 lawyers in Boston. I um, arranged um, to have an interview with Hans Loser. My interview went well and I wanted to meet some more of the young lawyers. He uh, arranged for me to have a lunch with a, a group of the men. Um, we went to the Harvard Club in Boston where we weren't seated. They came back, they told Hans what had happened. He was horrified, wrote a letter, and that was the end of the rule where they wouldn't serve women at the downtown Harvard Club. The union representative jumped over the table, slugged me and kicked me in the jaw and knocked me flat on my back. Judge Garrity was a great guy, and I was a brand new law clerk. It was probably my first week. He called me over to the bench, and I thought to myself, wow, he must really think I know what I'm doing if I can help him on this. And he leaned over and he said, well, Mike, your guess is as good as mine. The trial was an extravaganza, the likes of which this firm has rarely, if ever, staged. Finding documents that were guarded by a man with a goat. It's documents supposedly supporting the promissory notes that were themselves fabrications. A you know, mafioso uh, you know, antagonist that died in a mysterious fire and I think the report was that they could only find his teeth. Lou Weinstein had a relative, a niece's husband, and he had set up a company called Revenge Inc. They ended up sending to somebody a dead fish. He had a heart attack when he got the fish. The next thing we know is that there was an attorney general's inquiry into the matter. Nobody was found liable in that instance. But it's one of those curious stories that you remember in White Collar, which are not typical. And this place has always had, for reasons I can't really tell you, has always had extremely bright, extremely well-informed, and extremely nice people. This is still a true partnership. Uh, we're still at the level where we know our partners, um, and in most cases, like them. Um, I think at some level we are still the same firm that Henry Foley founded 75 years ago. The Armadillo is a litigation department tradition. If you are the last person to show up on the first day of work for your class, then you inherit the Armadillo. I only had to wait a week before someone else arrived who was newer than me. I've known associates who've had that Armadillo for longer than they should have had. The Armadillo is about the size of a bread box. Is it real? It's an actual armadillo. Um, I assume it was run over at some point in Texas in the 80s. There's a ribbon around its tail. I think the armadillo now has a beanie baby child. I'd like to know where it is. Uh, if I see the armadillo, I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs>